YFN Lucci has been in jail for nearly three years. And a lot of folks have been paying attention to Young Thug's trial, but a lot of folks haven't been paying attention to YFN Lucci. It was almost like they forgot about the boy. But, um, you know, we, we, we usually cover the, 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 the Young Thug trial, and we've been talking about that almost every other week. But um, it looks like YFN Lucci on, you know, under the wraps have been negotiating a plea deal. And he's on his way home pretty soon, man. It turns out that he went ahead and pleaded guilty. Um, if y'all don't remember, why Fan Lucci was in a, a situation where there was a shootout and one of his friends was killed. Um, it's kind of a long story, man. I don't know if we actually had the time to actually break it down for y'all. But um, the bottom line is, is somebody come get this man. <laughs> Somebody come get this man. Nah, nah, they talking about uh, they talk, they ain't talking about uh, wife and Lucy, but that's what they did. Somebody did come and get that man. They came and got that man up out of there, man. Um, and yeah, it looks like he might be coming home. Looks like he might be coming home. Um, pretty incredible. I mean, your client was facing the potential of life in prison without the possibility of parole, and now my understanding is he could walk a free man in a few months. Walk us through how this deal happened. Sure. Uh, so, look, we've been uh, in, in a battle uh, since January of 2021. Um, it started out as a felony murder case. And then, of course, as you know, it became this RICO case. And uh, unfortunately, we had some bond issues. And uh, Ray Bennett is, you know, Lucci Batasi's Ray. Ray's been in, in jail for a few years now. And we've been litigating this case nonstop. Uh, of course, if you remember, because you followed these cases, it started um, as you know this big case in Fulton County. Then there was the YSL indictment. Then the special purpose grand jury regarding the the election. And you know, we just became another huge case. Um, but during that entire period of time, we've been fighting, fighting, fighting. And then, of course, YSL went to trial before us, which was kind of crazy because uh, we were an older case. We've been trying to get in trial. We finally got set for January 8th of this year. And you so accurately point out, uh, Mr. Bennett was looking at the life without the possibility of parole. Um, we continue to hammer away. We were in our third week of jury selection. And the only offer that is on the record, at least, that we got, as you know, took place. Uh, I was in trial um, in San Francisco in a federal trial, and I received an, an offer while I was in trial uh, for 17 years in jail but to all the offenses. And of course, a, any offense related to the felony murder would have required an 85% service, which meant Ray would have had to, on that deal, serve around 15 years, maybe a couple months shy of 15 years. Um, that was never gonna happen. Uh, we wanted to go to trial. And then these conversations started developing in the last few days. And the next thing we know, um, every account is dismissed other than uh, one associate of a gang count uh, which, according to our parole guidelines, because he has no criminal record, it's extremely clear. And it became clear on the record and to the credit of the prosecution, they put it on the record as well, um, that he could be avail uh, he could be parole eligible in as soon as one third of the time, which would only put him around three and a half months away. And as part of the deal, Incredible. they agreed to write a letter. The way people are parading Lucci right now as a real street dude for not snitching and actually getting off in a manner has to be studied because y'all was not liking this man while Young Thug was out, bro. But let me explain. As you got they sure it wasn't. They sure it wasn't. They sure it wasn't. And, and you know, he didn't have anybody in his crew go out like Young Thug and snitch. I mean, not, not, no, not Young Thug snitch, but uh, Young Thug's crew. And snitch. Pretty incredible. So, I mean, your um, client with his friend's death, right. um, charged with felony murder. Um, so it was the person, Mr. Adams. Matter of um, fact, we we, we messed it up. Hold on, hold on. Let's get, let's get, let's get, let's, let's finish this video first. Let's go ahead and finish this video, and then we'll we'll, we'll break it down. And write a letter to the parole board that, assuming he behaves himself in the next three and a half months, 
they have no objection to his immediate release. You, you have to break it down for our viewers and our listeners sure. about was there a problem in the prosecution's case? Was there a deficit in them able to prove something like felony murder? Because people might be looking at this and saying, I mean, it seems such such a benefit, so beneficial to to your side. Um, and, and for them, it must have been a problem in their case that they didn't want to take this to trial. Yeah, so um, I talked about that at the plea yesterday. Um, so the felony murder doctrine, as you know, if there's the allegation of any felony and somebody dies as a result thereof, you can get charged with felony murder. Um, so it was the person, Mr. Adams, um, that was in our client's car. Uh, that was shot and killed by a third party. And so under the felony murder doctrine, they actually charge Ray with his friend's death. Right. Um, and so we were very clear with them that we spared no expense. Um, we hired the best experts in the United States, the best engineers um, to put together uh, the, the videography and analyze it. And at best they can say, you couldn't see who initiated the showing, but the possibility was there that, in fact, they were the people in Mr. Bennett's car were recipient. In other words, they were defending themselves. Um, we were very clear with the other side, strap it on, get ready, because we are spending big time money to bring in not silver medal winners, not bronze medal winners when it comes to expert testimony, but the best people possibly on the planet Earth are going to testify for us. Who do you have? Um, and sometimes, uh, as a defense attorney, even though we don't have the burden, it's important to let the other side know, you know, get ready. It's not going to be a, an easy road. And whether they took that into consideration, I'll have no idea. Um, but we decided to freely exchange that information, and perhaps it benefited us. And to be clear, the charge that he has pled guilty to, because, you know, now the felony murder is is not uh, is not on the tape. Right. Felony murder is gone. The racketeering is gone. What is he admitting to? Let's be clear about what your client is admitting to as part of pleading guilty to this one charge. Yeah, so the language in the indictment talks about being an associate. Unfortunately, in these gang statutes, you know, I talk about this around around the country all the time to lawyers. Um, you don't have to really be a gang member, but if you associate, right, if you associate with a gang. And so he he pled guilty to account that he associated with a gang and some specific activity, but he never agreed that he is a gang member because he's not. But the plea was associating with with gang members. Is he going to have to testify in this trial? No, uh, that's a big no. That is as big as you could take and put him together. That's a big no. Huge highlighter. Um, that's always been an issue. Um, that Ray, that Ray Bennett, Lucci, is never going to testify um, against anybody, for anybody, against anybody. He won't even testify for a, at, a, at a traffic violation. Um, that is not part of this at all. Um, and if anybody tries to issue a subpoena, we'll file a motion to quash um, because people can put him up. But other than saying his name, he's going to fold his arms and want nothing to do with any legal proceeding. So that is very, very clear that he's not a, a witness at all. Anybody that uh, tries to create that rumor is is really doing an injustice to themselves and everybody involved in this. That's not part of this deal at all. So what is his perspective on this alleged uh, gang? Is it the idea that, you know, he was associating with the wrong people? He was in the wrong place at the wrong time. Um, what's his perspective on this idea that this is a criminal organization? Yeah. So the only thing that I can really echo is the sentiment that he expressed in court yesterday um, is that he cared about <clears throat> Mr. Adams um, that died. And he continues to express his heartfelt condolences to Mr. Adams family. Um, I've had the opportunity to, to talk to these folks. They're lovely people. And of course, he feels terrible. Pretty incredible. I mean, you're very, very incredible. Once again, YFN Lucci is on his way home. Um, congratulations, man. Like they said, the big there's a big no. He will not be a witness in anybody's trial. So don't be starting no rumors. <laughs> what up, what up, Illuminiki? Illuminiki checking in. My brother, Joseph. Checking in, my big Joe, Joe Dub checking in. Um, yeah, so that's the breakdown, man. You heard it from the lawyer. YFN Lucci has pretty much 
damn near beat all the charges that was up against him. He had he had murder charges, um, racketeering charges, street gang. Uh, what he pleaded guilty of one count of violation of the street gang terrorism and prevention act. So they was able to get all those other charges up out of the way and just say, hey, I'm not really in the gang, but I participated in some type of a gang terrorism and whatever, whatever. Um, they broke down a 20 year sentence to 10 years to, um, in, in prison. And that got broken down to parole in four months. And so he's already done about three years. So he's going to get time served and probably going to be out. By the summertime, man. YFN Lucci would be back on the streets, man. Oh, uh, oh. Uh. <laughs> they love sticking their nose in hip hop. Hey, man. Hey, don't start that, Nikki. Don't start. But yeah, man, I mean, a lot of folks was forgetting about uh, Lucci, though. A lot of folks was like, you know, he had been locked up for so long. Um, you you wasn't really seeing too many people saying free Lucci at all. It's always free thug, and as you know, the the two of them, YF and Lucci and uh, and Young Thug, are actually um, yeah, they got some 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 bit of a rivalry going on. You know what I'm saying? I mean, I'm I'm, I'm keeping it clean when I say rivalry. You know, I might well uh, keep it all the way funky. They beefing, and um. Word is that Thug then was trying to get YFN Lucha while he was in jail and all. So, you know, um, while Young Thug is still actually fighting his his case, YFN going to be the first one back on the streets. So, um, once again, if y'all was wondering how did that break down from a 10-year, I ain't know how the hell they broke that, a 10-year sentence down to three to four months. A lot of folks probably was feeling like bro was, you know, in there working with them folks. But there you go. Um, meanwhile, a couple of his co-defendants, they um they got a little more time. One of them boys got like 25 years. I don't I don't think they had the same type of lawyer though. One of them boys, you know I'm saying, one of his co-defendants got damn near 25 years. Um, and he he happy too. You know. Buddy say he, he ain't tripping. So <laughs> uh, Yeah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know if he had to do the whole 25. But his co-defendants well okay here it is here it is it says YFFN YFN I'll be saying YFFN I don't know why I always get it wrong co-defendants in the YFN Lucci case Miami rappers CP3 and Lism have both been sentenced to 25 years and 15 years after pleading guilty so them boys I don't even know if them boys really rappers for real them boys was the uh, they that came in town and was um, running with YFN like they were basically love uh, riding around the town or whatever like you know stunting he had just got a new Lambo truck was showing off his Lambo truck pulled up in the wrong neighborhood and the boys was with him and you know what I'm saying uh, um, some gang members or something started shooting at him or whatever and you know I don't really know the story but it, the bottom line is, is them boys getting about 25 and 15 and YFN only got 10 so that didn't sound all the way right. But hey, they said they were supposed to get more than 25 anyway. So I guess that's a win. What up, what up, Donna? Donna checking in. Everybody checking in on fa- on the Facebook. Remember, man, make sure that y'all like the channel. Make sure that y'all subscribe to the YouTube channel. And um, and we appreciate everybody for sharing. Sharing the live, man. So most folks could tell a friend to tell a friend to go ahead and listen in. What you uh, So Nikki say, I've seen that happen. Some, someone I know beat two Rico cases like this. They all coming home. YFN Melly too. I don't know if his his name YFN. It's uh it's Melly is something else. And I don't know if Melly coming home. It's Y N W Melly. I don't know what's with these YFN, Y N W, B H M. Maybe having a little I guess they um they 
group name in front of they in front of their name man you, you really don't know how to tell who, who's who but I don't know if Melly coming home Melly's situation is a little more complicated Melly's situation is a little more complicated and you know we was covering that um, trial as well until it hit mistrial and um, they'll probably get that case going back again pretty soon alright so I guess we could go ahead and move on to the next topic now this particular topic I was supposed to talk about it last week but I 